Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I have this phone right here. This is a Pixel XL, the OG Pixel XL. Now, I've never seen it before, held it or anything like that. It's my first time I'm actually having a chance to look at this device and I do like it. It's pretty solid. And you guys know this is not my phone, right? Like someone put an Apple sticker on here and when I saw it, I was livid. I was like, who did this? This is a fucking abomination. Like, why would you do this? But anyways, I digress. Now, the reason why I have this Pix XL here today is because you guys know what I do for work. It's like tech related. So yesterday, someone came in and was like, oh, I have this phone. It has a Google FRP lock on it. Could you help me? Now, initially when I saw it, I thought to myself, this is not going to work because it's a Pixel phone. It has the latest firmware update. It has the latest security updates. So I doubt it's going to work, but I did take it because I like a challenge. So I brought it home to see if I could try to bypass the FRP. Now normally what I would do is downgrade the Google account manager once I got into the phone and then I would install the FRP bypass APK. Now that wasn't working at all, it wouldn't allow me to downgrade the Google account manager. Now late last night a thought came to my head while I was laying down and I said to myself if I could uninstall the Google account manager that's there now and install a older version then that just might work because without the older version the FRP bypass APK would not work at all. Now you guys might be wondering okay it has FRP lock on it how are you able to do all that? Well, that's because I kind of tinkered around with it and I was able to get inside the phone into the settings menu. So I got up and I tried to uninstall it and surprisingly it worked. I was able to uninstall the Google account manager that was there and install a older version. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this FRP lock off this phone. All right. Enough chatting guys. Let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to walk you through the steps as to how I actually got to the point that I am now and show you what we're going to do next. All right. Now, as you can see, guys, this is a home screen here. I'm able to go in the app, draw all these things. Pretty cool, right? But if you see at the top right here, the FRP lock is still on. All right. So yeah, let me just start this over. I'm going to restart it and show you how to get to where I am now. All right. So right here you have the home screen. The first thing I normally do is Try to turn on top back, all right? So go to top back, turn it on, click OK. Oh yeah, guys, also the first thing you actually need to do is connect to the Wi-Fi and then go back to the main screen, all right? And once you're in top back, just uh, do a little L. Now, just go ahead, do a little L and then click on top back settings. Top back settings and list eight items. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that volume down. All right, now after that, just scroll, use your two fingers, scroll, and click on help and feedback. Double tap. Also guys, you can disable the talk back thing by just holding down the volume, down and up buttons. So let's go ahead and do that. Just hold it down until you see right here. It says accessibility shortcut talk back turned off. All right, let's go ahead and click on get started with voice access. Now you see this little video pop up. Go ahead, click on that. Click the share icon, click the three dots. It's gonna open up to YouTube. Now from here, all you need to do is just go ahead, try to find a link that will bring you to the browser. Now for me, what I normally do is go ahead and go on my own YouTube channel. I normally have links in the description. So I just always go on that and then, you know, go on the browser from there. So, I just go ahead and type in the coin. Already had it up here. And I just click on, let's say this one. That's my latest video. Check it out if you haven't already. And this Manfrotto bag here, there's a link to it. So I go ahead, click on that. And voila, you are in the browser, all right? Now from there, I would just, uh, I'll put links in the description below as to what you can type into find some of these APKs, but normally I would go on Root Junkie's website. He's an OG FRP master. All right, so normally I'll go on like google.com and from there I type in Root Junkie. So you type in Root Junkie SDL, click on FRP when it comes up, and then scroll. Now click on this Android 7.0 folder and go ahead, install Root Junkie FRP Bypass, install the sidebar, install GAM6, the launcher. Oh, also guys, the launcher. So install the launcher, FRP Bypass, GAM6, 
the sidebar. Now once you're done that, just go back out into the other folder and you're gonna wanna install this right here. It says Android Quick Shortcut. So install all of those and just go ahead and open it. Now I would recommend that you install the sidebar as the last thing because once you download that and open it, it'll just open up and you can go ahead and add the various apps and you can go into the file manager and stuff like that. All right, so just make sure you have what you need there. For me right here, if you see, I do have a bunch of them. I have uh, the phone app, just in case I need that. I also have the quick shortcut uh, app right there. I have the Apex Launcher app, all right? So if you go on the Apex Launcher, it's gonna probably look something like this. And from there, you're able to maneuver much more easier, all right? So what I did, I went into settings, all right? Go on the launcher and then go into settings. Don't just use a settings that is there on the side because that might not work. So go on the launcher first, then go in settings and go to apps and notification. See all, click on right there, click show system and then scroll and look for Google account manager. All right, go ahead and you're gonna see uninstall. Go ahead and uninstall that. And once you've done that, swipe to the side and go back into the downloads folder and you're gonna install GAM6, all right? So go ahead and install that. Once you've installed that, I've done it already. Swipe again and click on the Quick Shortcut Maker. All right, now once you're in the Quick Shortcut app, let's go ahead and type in Google account. I should see it right there, all right? Now, just scroll down and click on one of these here. It should be this one here that says type email and password. Go ahead, click on that, then click on try. All right, now this is a screen that you need to have because without the older Google account manager, you're not gonna be able to see this page here. All right, so go ahead, click on the three dots, click on browser sign in, click okay, and go ahead and put in a new Google account and password. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Hopefully this works, guys. All right, let's hope this works. Oh, all right, so once it is signed in and it's successful, go ahead, restart the device, and let's pray that it works, all right? So let's go ahead and hold down on the power button, click on restart. All right, so it's back up, moment of truth, guys. Let us hope this works, fingers crossed. Go ahead and skip. Now what it's supposed to do is that it's gonna add that account that we just entered into the system. So it kind of thinks that, okay, that's the account so that's there. So let's hope this works, all right? Now let's click on set up as new. And okay, this is the screen, guys. This is the screen. Ooh, this is the screen that you need to have. Account added, and this is the one I just added a while ago, all right? Click on next. Ooh, if this works, guys. This is it, this is it. Just go ahead and skip everything and you should be in. Sorry guys, I'm too pumped right now. I am too pumped. No thanks. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, guys, this is it. Oh. And as you realize, guys, there's no uh, FRP lock icon on the top there. You're able to go in everything right here. If you go into settings and you go to system, because before you couldn't get into the developer mode, right? So if you go down, click on that, you're now a developer, all right? So it's, oh my gosh, this worked. This worked. Now, one thing I was thinking was that I could try to downgrade the firmware making it easier to bypass the FRP. However, normally, a lot of people, they do not unlock their bootloaders, so you're not able to downgrade your phone, all right? Because, yeah, if you don't have the bootloader unlocked, you're not able to downgrade, and if you don't have OEM unlock ticked on in the, in the settings, then you're not able to unlock the bootloader, essentially, so. It was pretty simple. It was easier than I thought, and that's how you bypass the APK on a Pixel 2, Pixel XL, the OG ones, the new ones. I pretty much think they're gonna be the same because it's the same firmware on all of them. So just try to go in because it's really easy to go in. Once you go in, uninstall the Google Account Manager, install an older one. As you saw right here, I installed the Google Account Manager from 
uh, version 6, which is, I guess, Marshmallow. So go ahead, install that, do what I did, and it's gonna work. Like, that is it. Pretty simple. So from there, just go ahead and click on reset. Click a factory reset, and it's gonna reset everything. But just to let you guys see once more, I am on Android 8.1.0, running the March 5th patch. All right, that's the latest security patch. That's the latest firmware, guys. And I did it, and it wasn't too hard at all. So that's how you do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely go ahead, leave a big old like if this one helped you out. Let me know in the comment section if it did. And if you appreciate me doing these videos, then you know, go ahead and subscribe for more because I love this whole tech stuff. I love figuring stuff out. It's just something that gets my juices bubbling. But anyways, guys, that is enough of me chatting. I hope you guys like this video just as much as I loved unlocking this phone. All right, as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Dakon, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Zine.